Um, but without further ado or more dilly dally, let's dive right into this dead link game. Mm. For the record, I love the art and I love the music of this game. So it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Very odd. Very odd. What on earth is going on here? Huh. Huh. All right, well, you know what? We're going to just capture... It's a very... Wow. What's going on? <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. There we go. No. <laughs> For goodness sake, man. Sorry, chat. Just give me a second here. Hey, Sinagard, God, how's it going? Oh, G Man did arrive. How's it going, pal? Good to see you. We we're just—I was just talking about you getting some coffee. Good after breakfast, folks. How's it going? We're doing well, my friend. We're doing well. We're about to jump into this game called Dead Link. Uh, we just had a quick chat with—we uh, had an interview chat with Demon, my partner in crime. Um, talking a little bit about gaming and therapy and all that other fun stuff. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second here. Yeah, there seems to be an issue with the game coming through on my OBS very weirdly. Um, hmm, hold on a sec. Yep, that's that. Primary monitor. Yeah, that's where I want you to be. Hold on. Let's see, maybe it's uh, maybe it's some settings here I can play with a little. Let's have a look. No, we don't. We want borderless. What do we get? We got borderless full screen. There we go. And uh, I'm looking for no, not that. Should be 1080p somewhere. Native? Yes, give me the native. Give me the uh, VSync off. What has happened? Apply changes. My goodness gracious. Don't worry, chat. We're, we're going to get this. We're going to figure this out. The game seems to not really be optimized for streaming, but it's all right. Um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> What's going on? Damn, man. Four dislo in a week? What? Dislocations. Who's got dislocations? You got you got four dislocations in your arms? Oh, God, that's nuts, dude. Let's go. Everyone got coffee. We got coffee, Milton Hand. We got coffee indeed, my brother. I hope you do, I hope you do too. How the hell? Yeah, I want to know too. How the hell did you get that right, pal? That's nuts. Don't be, don't be, don't be doing that to yourself. That's not nice. <laughs> um... I'm going to try and see if I can get the gaming render to work here. Hold on a second, guys. Come on, then. It's just not picking it up, though. It's so strange. Deadlink? Yeah? Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. There you are. My goodness gracious. That was rough. All right, I'm going to jump back in. And you guys are not getting any sound, are you? You see, this is the problem when it comes to, uh, oh, and that frame rate just decided to see its ass. See, this is the problem with not setting up a game prior to actually playing it. It's, uh, the problem comes in is that it's all well and good, um, to play a game for the very first time. The problem is if the game has issues when it comes to streaming, uh, you don't exactly, you have to kind of fix them on the fly. Yep. No sound. Don't worry. I'm going to take care of it now. Um, you got you kind of got to fix these things on the fly. So let's see if we can do that quickly. There you go. That should have come through. Let me turn that up a bit. My God, stop! Fuck hell. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. I think we're there. I think we got it. My goodness. All right. So Sinna says, now, so now somehow uh, dislocated his arm four times. What happened was, like six months ago, I had my first dislocated shoulder. Ever since then, you've been prone to doing it more if I move it weirdly or something. And this morning I was working out and I stretched too far in the wrong direction and it dislocated. When I tried to fix it, it dislocated. Holy crap, Sinna God. Well, my brother, listen, go and go to the doctor. <laughs> 
Man, that, it's not a joke to have it dislocated off. Not a joke at all. Um, it seems like we're having some frame rate problems. I'm sure it's going to balance out a little bit, though. I hope. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to exit and start up. Let's try that. Goodness gracious, man. I've never experienced that. I've never experienced that. All right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Stop giving me window mode. Why are you like this? Thank you. Yeah, that is rough. It's okay now? Well, that's good, Pop. All right, let's fix a few things. There's obviously the the default settings on this is, is really shit. So uh, let's have a look here. Interface game. Mm. Enable gore. Yes, that's good. Interface. All right, so there doesn't seem to be a setting for any kind of FPS. Let's just see if advanced video settings. All right, let's just see. Uh, I appreciate the wanting of... <laughs> okay, that's fair. We're just going to turn this down a little bit because... Damn, it sucks, man. It's a cool body trick. Yeah, it's a cool body trick, though. Like, next time someone shakes your hand, uh, just dislocate your shoulder accidentally and see if they freak out. Um, I'm just going to quickly lower all this. Uh, limit frames on. We're going to limit our frames to 60. Um, turning all this to medium. So the thing is, it's, it's not so much of a problem when you're playing on your own. The problem always comes when you're streaming these things. Um, yeah. Did that work? Yes, it did. Stop it. Empty enemies. Off. There we go. Okay. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? It did work. Cool. Alright, I think that's... I think that all works. It seems to have worked. Fantastic! Yay! Alright, cool. Alright, well obviously we're not going to get that. I do recommend though, if you guys want to get the full experience to play this yourself. Um, it's only like a 60, it's not a very expensive game, Dead Link, and the demo I think is still out to play. Uh, but we're going to dive right in. Now remember guys, this game is very much a mixture of... Uh, I'll be back, sorry. Not a problem, Synagogue. Take your time, my brother. Please take your time. Just look after yourself, my man. We don't want anyone coming over here uh, being hurt, you know. We want them to be nice and all full of life. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we're going to dive right into this. This is a combination, at least from my experience, of Doom Eternal gameplay in terms of speed, quick switching, movement, and that kind of thing. Very much a movement shooter in that way, but it's got roguelike elements. Um, and the aesthetic is absolutely gorgeous, which you guys are going to see now in a little bit. So this will be the first time I'm actually... Would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, no. Let's not play the tutorial. I'm back without any dislocations during the laundry folding. Oh, fantastic. Bright and optimistic. The future we dreamed up. The future is here. It's blindingly bright with neon lights and the blinking of LEDs. Optimism, however, is the only experience of the right neurotransmitter cocktail or glitch in your cybernetic synapses. Very much cyberpunk. Very much cyberpunk, and I love it. Good morning, Agent. Your healing cyber brain coma is complete. Interesting. Can't have you into real missions just yet. Let's put you in the training wheels just for you. Okay. Oh, guys, this is going to be something special. I can feel it. I knew it was going to be something special when we first played the, played the demo. Look at that, eh? Mm. Mm. Make your agency proud? Sure, sure. Oh, I'm sorry I have low res on, but... Uh, good morning, Agent. Excuse me of shutting off your consciousness for the past few months. The Deadlink protocol interfaces still need tweaking. And there's no point in keeping that brain of yours floating out of here idly. Right? I see your confidence as ever skipping uh, the orientation I prepared for you. Of 
course, the director's golden student, the fully cyberized operative of the corporate security agency, would it be? I guess you see no point in testing the simulation's safety and stability. Just don't come crying to me. Uh, you should, should something go wrong during your consciousness transfer or your uh, precious cyber brain gets scorched, you know damn well Deadlink is still under heavy development. Fair enough. Your mentor, Crusher, will soon be here. Yo, Melancholy must come and do my, um, so check this out, right? So you can go to any one of these. This is how, it's, I, I love this. It's so different. <laughs> it's so different and I really appreciate it. Let's begin the simulation. This is new. So we never had this in the demo. We never had this in the demo. Okay, it looks like we only have Soldier as a combat shell. All right. Cool. You actually enjoy it? Oh, that's lovely. I mean, I just never... There's this whole technique about folding washing that I never got. Oh, look at that. How does it look for you guys? I think that looks pretty damn gorgeous, don't you think? Ooh. Power. Ah, the sex club. Finally. I remember playing this demo. Nice. Double jump. Dash. That's all where it should be. It's all where it should be. So, from what I understand, every time you jump into this... Thanks for the reminder, I need to put the washing on. I also need to put the washing on, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna, I am gonna. have to go get, get to that ASAP. So, if you guys are curious, look how beautiful the cyberpunk aesthetic is. It's just so good. When you guys play this on your own, don't forget to increase your resolutions if you can. This is where the problem comes in. Oh, oh. Come here. I think the one thing that I do remember about this game is how, um... Ah, oh, man, what was it? There's so much there it is. It does want you to use a combination of powers and weapons to get the most out of it, right? So... There you go, you see, so you can use your grappling hook. You can use your grappling hook to max out. There we go. And get around the map quickly, but then you're equally going to use your telekinetic push. And flick, 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 flick. Ooh. Okay, but it's pretty intense. That's, I don't like it. Left control? Hold on, sorry. There we go. Oh, no. Ooh, I'm so, I'm so, it's not working for me. <laughs> it's not working for me. God damn it. There we go. Excellent. Not bad, not bad. Not as smooth as I would have liked, champs. Not as smooth as I would have liked, but we're getting there. Oh my. I didn't know we had a rock launcher. Nice. So, one of the cool parts about that I thought was unexpected. So, when I first came into this game, uh, way back when, my microphone is actually in the wrong place. I can't see my HUD. There we go. Uh, when I first came into this game, I wasn't expecting the following. When we actually get this, when we start able to choose our rewards per uh, arena, I thought this was pretty fucking cool, right? So, naturally, I'm going to improve our weapon damage because I'm that dude. Oh, this is new. Um, HE focus where restore one grenade. Uh, grenades deal 50% extra damage. I want to go with the electrical. Goodness, I forget about this. Yeah, so you can also start adding in different implants, right? So, weapon swap, uh, loadouts, anything like that to improve your loadouts a bit more. It starts to become very, very interesting. I I'm, I'm very appreciative of stuff like this. So what happens is, on your weapon swap, then your Tesla modular activates. All right, so you can do electrical damage and that kind of thing. I'll fetch you from the airport, <laughs> um, which is pretty cool. So when I do a weapon swap, so the electrical, you can see at the bottom there, the electrical power kicks in. So you can start playing your character in such a way that when you start using your own play style or however you want to do it, um, it, plays, it, it plays to benefit you. Do you know what I mean? So watch this. Now we're in the next arena. I forget what they do. Oh, 
Those things being, I don't know if they're healers. Can't remember now. I just know I was killed. Hold on a second, Jack. Uh. Now that you've cleared the level, and the cool thing is this does this game does reward smoother gameplay. And as you start going going through it, you get to see yeah, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Alright, so as you get more credits, you can start unlocking stuff there. And uh, there's a challenge, that's new, I haven't seen that before. Weapon mod, so if you go through there, we'll be able to get a weapon mod. I don't remember. Um and that kind of thing. Oh, that's interesting. Lots and lots of just intense quick power-ups. I find this game very unique. Compared to what we're used to, I want to add in another shotgun mod. Shock projectiles? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Hello! Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I gotta remember how long it takes for that cooldown time. It's a hub. All right. All right. So it's all run based. That's cool. I can dig it. I can dig that. Good to see you again, soldier. I'm a little disappointed. Our chop doc, interesting, spoiled my return. Uh, I hope she took good care of you, uh, your noggin through the red tape. Rumiko assured me she didn't damage you too much before she put you back to sleep. Thank you, Mr. Crusher. Dr. Crusher. Director Crusher. There you go. Previous demo results on my desk are quite impressive. You'll soon be ready to get off your own leash. I'll be supervising your progress directly until we until it becomes legal to sink to sick you on people. Okay, interesting. Dr. Crusher. Here to begin with very nice. Begin simulation. Dead link upgrades. Ah, oh, check this out. Okay, so you can go and do normal combat shell upgrades. That's cool. You know what I think this game is going to do well with? Is... Wow. Four. Oh, and there's a whole... Goodness, like there's a whole lore aspect to this. I love this. This is so cool. This is definitely like the cyberpunk-esque aesthetic that I was saying. Like, it's all the lore, all this whole world that you've been, that's built around it. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Shatai. Kyodai. Yakuza gangster. Yakuza initiate. Phoenix militaries. Phoenix watchman. Okay, we haven't got the 
fascinating stuff. Sorry, I, I love law and I love it when gamers, when developers actually build uh, law into their game. Recently, actually, there was a game uh, that I spoke about, uh, and the developer was always talking about, oh, there's no bullshit, there's no uh, fluff, there's no uh, filler, right? And I'm like, my dude, you know, building context to your game isn't filler, okay? It's it creates context makes for great chip makes for great clips i think so i think so <laughs> the thing is creating um we're gonna have to go through this again okay yeah it's a run it's a run that's what the whole thing is about it's that's the roguelike as aspect to it that makes sense that makes sense so for those of you that are curious about what roguelike means in this case it means we go through a stage or a series of stages and we keep going until we die if we die we have to restart the the aspect though is that we don't restart from zero you restart with maybe a few extra things that you didn't uh, have originally which is pretty cool um that's the roguelike aspect of this kind of game i was gonna say though this guy was saying yo there's no filler in his games it's just action and i'm like yeah but that gets boring <laughs> like just having action 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 all the time uh you eventually get to the point you eventually get to this point where... Oops. Oh, yeah. That was a mistake. Ah. The cool thing is about the thing with games is that you have to have some kind of context stories are not filler if you can't write a story then that's fine but you need some kind of reason uh to move forward you're not just this mindless uh object and i think that's a that's a sad story about modern gaming is that a lot of the time people see story and rubbish like that as, as filler when it's actually i'm not dying here hold on a second Fuck. No, no. No. Oh. Alright, cool. I actually forgot about that. Where enemies give you life. Cool. That's a cool thing. I gotta go, my man. Uh, this game has some references. I'm keen, even though it looks... Um, some references I'm not keen about, even though it looks dope. I'll catch you around next time. Not a problem, Melted Hand. I'll speak to you soon. I wonder what those are. I would love to have known. Um, but take care, pal. Take care, pal. Hope you have a nice one. This, ge this game has some references I'm not keen about, even though it looks dope. I wonder what those are. Interesting. I haven't picked up any references. What do you guys? What do you guys think? The sex club thing, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Melton, if you ever if you ever get a chance to let me know, I'd love to know. Um, interesting. Anyway, so I think my biggest thing is sex and women, my dude. Oh, oh well, my pal. <laughs> All right, then, not a problem if, if it makes you uncomfortable. Uh, it's not not an issue. I mean, that's that's okay <laughs> if you want to get going. That's all right. Um, I suppose that's going to be the tone of the game, though, for a large extent. You know, we're talking uh cyberpunk yakuza gangsters the sex is gonna be there sex is gonna be there but embrace embrace the form my dude embrace the sexual orientation embrace the pornography <laughs> no i'm just i'm just teasing suit yourself my brother no 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 shade no shade okay um cool down time yes we need, need more cooldown time yes we need defense power plus 10 weapon damage yeah i think we need cooldown time in this one um plasma lepton there's a lot. Like, there's a lot in this game. There's a lot in this game. I think you're going to have to play a few, many a few rounds um, before actually... Ooh, increased damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Next, one rocket launcher shot won't consume ammo. That's pretty cool. Become immune to damage for two seconds. Incoming... I think this is probably more important. Yes. Okay. So let's put that on... Rapple use. Or sc scrambler use so scrambler is like that force push power and then rapple is literally yeah i don't know this is gonna be interesting i think we use it on rapple no 
force push. Because when we're doing force push, we're so close to the enemy, that might make sense. Okay, cool. Let's do it that way. Cool. I'm sorry, Melted Hand. It is an 18 plus stream. I, I apologize if you're a bit uncomfortable. But I hope you have a great day, pal. Um, I keep forgetting there is a cooldown for that. All right, cool, cool. I keep having to so we've only got three life which is not good <laughs> i need to remember how to get life in this game and i know it's it's partly there we go. that's still not life that's still oh dear it though like I, i'm not gonna lie the the intensity because you you want to keep getting better right oh no i i think it's okay i really think it's okay this is pretty cool hold on i just need to remember how to do bloody life i can't remember what gives you life man let's keep going initiating torah we need to put 18 plus in our streams again um, I think the bot probably has like a waiting time of 30 seconds per notification. There we go. Alright, alright. We, we're getting the game now. We're getting the game. We're getting the game. I must just remember. Okay. Sorry, my, my hands need to learn. Alright, so it's F. That's not even... I'm not even pressing the right button. Can you believe it? Alright, that's melee. Alright, F is that. Left controller is the grenade. Very interesting. I need some health. Immediately launches rocket at point blank range. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, G-Man. Yeah, G-Man. You know, I like to live on the dark side. Not bad. Alright. Oh, God. I just can't remember. If anyone sees me get life at any point in time, let me know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, if anyone sees me get, get help for no reason, please tell me. Because I don't know how to get help. Uh, where's this last guy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice. Okay. We're slowly getting the hang of it. We're slowly getting the hang of it. I'm, I'm really... In Look, guys, I can sit here for fucking hours playing this game because of how... There we go. We're going to go with that. Stun damage. And I'm going to put it on... I don't know what sea ball break is. Oh, the sea ball is the floating thing. Okay. I'm going to put it in a weapon swap. Wait, what? Energy low. Uh, active part of this implant requires more energy. Fascinating. All right, we'll do it on rapple use. Bro, there's so many customizations in this. Uh, despite how subtle he was with it. Yes, you know. <laughs> um plays choose life for tra train spotting oh you know what i actually haven't seen train spotting too now that you say train spotting i really want to see train spotting too i still haven't seen it it's probably not as good the first train spotting is ridiculous hello yes Woo. fuck you Whoa. I can't remember what the sea ball does. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Figure it out together. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. He's taking his time. Fuck you! Okay. Uh, oh, that was nice. Flip that shit. Um, interesting. It's not like you have time to look at 
neon boobs in this game. Now I am, but you know. <laughs> I'm obviously very touched. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, oh yeah, guys, if you haven't already, if anyone is new to the channel, please go check out my YouTube channel. Um, one day I'll probably gonna go full-time YouTube uh, in terms of uh, content. Twitch is, Twitch is here for fun because I enjoy it. I enjoy hanging out with you people, but a lot of my energy goes into YouTube. So the link is over there if you guys want to subscribe to my channel. All right, where are we? We've got XP over there. I don't know what that is. We've got a challenge. We've never done a challenge yet. And then we've got the normal shell upgrade. Ooh, let's do that. Ooh, scrambler def deflects projectiles back. That's cool. This is fun. All right, so this reminds me a lot of fucking uh, uh, Hades, right? Oh man, it's a little bit, a little bit addictive. I'm gonna use this one. A theme I'm noticing with your streams is a lot of time when you say hello to someone, they die soon after. You know what? What I'm saying is, I don't know what sound they make. I only know the sound of my gun as it ejects lead into their face. <laughs> G-Man, it's about the aggression. A A aggression. Sync complete. Oh fuck, that was a grenade. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, what's that? Damn. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, whiskers. All right. Oh no, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Goodness gracious! Who's amongst us? Guys, can I ask you a, can I ask you a serious question? Can I ask you a serious question? This is our world. We're safe talking about such things on the internet, you know? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. No, I'm not even joking about this. I'm not even joking. Do you think the streamers should be paid for their work? Nice! Ooh, 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 ooh. Holy goodness, that was bad. That was stupid. That was stupid. Who is it? My shields are down. Logzy, I know I know you say yes, so thank you. I appreciate that, but I knew that about you. So I, I say yes. I say un unequivocally yes. There's no such thing as a free lunch, firstly. And I'm not saying I'm a fucking godchild of content. But should we not? Oh man, he's tough. Oh, nice. Slow motion effects, bro. They knew what they were doing. No, for me, so I have a, I have a, I have a peeve. I have a peeve. I, I don't like it when creators don't feel that they deserve to be paid or deserve, or they, or they don't deserve. Do you know what I mean? A good example, a friend of mine, he streams nearly every day, six, six hours at least a day. And he doesn't feel he should be paid for his content. Or not in the same way. For me, completely disagree. If you if you've if you are not being paid for your work, if you're not being I, I see for me, I don't do Twitch for money. But when it comes to YouTube and things like that, it is nice to get financial support to fund the operation. For example, baby Darlene, she costs electricity and depreciation. So does everything here. My time is valuable, all right? And I feel that that is worth something. All right, don't get me wrong. It is a responsibility. I'm not saying you sit here, <sighs> eating heavily into this and, and bitching and whining about why you're not getting any views on your stream because you're playing Apex Legends or some shit. Um, ooh. We need more shields. 25% <laughs> um, damage to light enemies. You gain an extra, extra jump interesting i want to do more damage to lighter enemies so let's try that um my whole thing is is that as long as you are adding value if you're just breathing into your microphone like this and playing apex legends and wondering why you're not getting any um any views and bitching and whining that you're not getting money well yeah look i'm not gonna lie to you that's a bit stupid you're not really adding any value you're not entertaining but if you're somebody who does go out of their way to entertain and add value to their audience i feel that value is worth something 
you know so whether it is uh, maybe i'm you know what let's let's go to, i'm not saying that this is the only way but if financial value then is not financial gain is then not the uh the income then maybe it's community growth i know many creators who focus then thus on their community growth because it benefits them in another way like they're able to sell merchandise or whatever the case may be so i'm i'm, I'm not saying that there's just a black and a white here i'm saying it's gray but i do believe creators or entertainers like a musician uh, or a dancer should be paid for their work uh g-man oh, says oh one second g-man nice i'm gonna be right there my brother oh fuck wrong button Ooh. oh no ah getting a little intense shit one second you man i didn't expect this <laughs> Fuck. oh my goodness one second There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Big, big monster. Big machine. Big machine. Oh, G-Man. One second, G-Man. God damn it, G-Man. Oh, are you the last one? Nice. Fuck you, where are you? Oh, he's the last one. Come here. Yeah, do I don't know how to say speak Japanese. I would love to learn Japanese actually, to be fair. Here it's not easy. I'd love to learn Japanese. Just because I feel it's badass. G-Man says, yes, at the end of the day, both tubers and streamers are essentially entertainers. So they do this because they enjoy it, of course, um, and also to entertain others. Yes. So yes, you should be paid for your efforts. I concur. I concur. It's, it's, um, we don't live in a society that values creativity and art as much as we should, because it's, there's a very, it's a very unquantifiable value, right? It's a, why should one artist get paid less or more than another artist, you know, and then the arguments can be made about time and efforts and all that. I, I, I think it is quantifiable to some extent, but also at another extent, you can't, eventually it comes to a stage of one creator and another creator, they do exactly the same thing, then why is one paid more than the other? And I think that's just a matter of uh, public assumption and opinion. Um, that's not what I'm talking about, but I do think that creators should be paid for their work, especially on Patreon. For me, I, that's why I drive a lot of people over to Patreon, because that's kind of where i'm gonna be publishing more long term my stuff do you know what i mean um i just feel doing it for the sake of just existing seems it's it's like a band so it's, it's like a band i used to work with a lot of musicians and stuff it's like when musicians go to their uh to perform at a pub you know they're a draw card they bring attention to the pub people sell drinks and everything like that but then when the musician comes time for paying it's sort of like he has to suck someone's dick to get anything and it's just like sorry we didn't make enough money on the bar you don't get paid tonight i was like that's not what this is about <laughs> i'm being paid regardless do you know what i mean and i don't think doing it the other way around makes sense either other way so for me i feel i do feel creators should be paid for their work and, and rightly so um do i feel every creator should be paid for their work i don't know sometimes you can't just switch on a live stream and be like uh yo what's up i'm gonna be playing apex legends i'll keep using apex legends example there's nothing wrong with apex legends <laughs> but um it's the entitlement i suppose like as long as you're putting on a, a good show and you're entertaining and, and you're trying to add value then yes but if you're just breathing into a microphone then no and i think there's a line there weapon mod i feel we need something more than a weapon mod guys i don't know there's a shop there's an xp thing i don't know what this xp thing will do shall we go and find out let's see thank you blogsy i appreciate you blogsy hold on a second okay blogsy don't forget to remind me that when we do the end of the stream just to go over the things like in stream live otherwise i'll forget <laughs> things that i need to fix for next stream otherwise i'm gonna keep fucking forgetting so we got experience i don't know what that actually did but Okay. Oh, 
Button, wrong button. Fuck. Fuck. My fingers are getting confused. Ah. Uh, my fingers are literally getting confused. I, I can't. Oh man. You know what? <laughs> it's such a strange feeling. Oh, where are you? I saw you. Aha! Ah! Oh! Fuck it out! Big way! That's good. Sorry, chat. Like, this thing is actually pretty intense when you get into it. I, I I recommend it, though. This is... Oh, did we accidentally kill them somehow? Did they kill themselves? They must have. Oh, well. <laughs> We're getting pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Seriously, like, your, my hand is not ready yet. The muscle memory isn't ready yet, though. No, I bring it up because the, uh, one of the uh, one of the cre these creators was saying the other day is, like, they don't believe in hiding content behind a paywall and i and i do agree with that i i, I feel that just on a, like a, a on a moral level i don't want to hide things behind paywalls however however <laughs> it depends on what it is so i wouldn't hide a video behind a paywall you know i wouldn't so and, and this is just a matter of preference i think for me i wouldn't put like a video that you have to be a certain tier maybe or you have to be a certain tier on patreon to access that video i don't know if that makes sense for me just yet but if i said to you i have a white paper breaking down the psychology of doom or whatever rubbish and uh this will help improve your gameplay experience i don't know i don't know i don't know that's a bit more valuable so something like that i would want to be paid for because there's time and hours that go into that kind of thing it's all very interesting it's all very interesting it's like um uh what is it uh kurtz Gazat, right kurtz Gazat, um they get paid a lot for their work and that kind of thing and they and they make a big effort around it and they, it's hours and hours and hours and hours of man hours into their Kurtz Kazat work. However, I think the value of Kurtz Kazat's work is worth a ten dollar Patreon or whatever the case may be. But then other people like myself are not a part of their Patreon. But I get it for free anyway. You know, so it comes down to that whole thing of supporting the creator in order for them to keep growing. Without that, they become stagnant. It's called a, more like an investment, actually, if you think about it. Mm. Uh, G-Man says, I won't hide content beyond a paywall. However, pay 100, 100 pound and I'll tell you. <laughs> Yo. That's always an interesting thing, right? Is that... Oh, I hate that. Um, it's, it's a big thing when it comes to these self-help uh, gurus and shit like that. Uh, that you know you have the power to do this and to do that and then ooh look at this oh we have money for this oh okay you see oh okay guys check this out check this out check this out so you have normal common stuff which is free but then because of your you slowly generate points you can buy these things which are rarer more rare I'm gonna do that that's so cool uh, both weapons deal extra fire damage movement speed increased by 15 for five seconds when firing a weapon there is a 20 percent chance of firing a homing projectile for corrosion i'm going to take that one um and that needs two energy i like that this is cool man we still have no extra guns which i'm fine with but it's pretty groovy yeah actually i've just seen on twitter that what what wimpy is opening in dubai mall oh brilliant i heard about wimpy coming Wimpy is on its way. That's pretty amazing. Are we going to go there for breakfast every Sunday? Hold on a second. Vlogzy, if Wimpy opens a Dubai mall, we're going to have to go there every Sunday morning for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. That's a, this is this cultural thing. This is no long... This is not just about the food. Whoa, what's going on? What the fuck is that?
goodness gracious. All right. What are you? Oh, what is that? I don't. Okay, that's. Me. Seems like it's blocked. Whoa, where is he? He's a big guy. He's a big boy. Woo. Oh dear. Oh my, there's another one. Oh no, we're not dying here. We're not dying like this. We're not dying like this. Not when we've come so far. We're not dying like this. Hey, refuse! Where is this guy? Goodness! No bullets. Fuck. Alright. Woo! Shit. Alright. He's so big! He's so big! Oh, all of you assholes. No, we can't. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Come here. Oh. Why are we not getting power up? Sorry, Chad, I've like now two health. I need to try and do something here. Man, here they come. Fuck, really? How old already? Fucking hell. Oh, oh. That is rough, dude. That is rough. Destroy corrupted seaboards. Okay, I, I I can't. I must actually find out what Erikishi. Yeah, it's that sumo warrior. Wow, that's rough, bro. Every day we can't do everyday blogsy. It's about balance. He seems to have a forward shield. Need to get around that. Yeah, gee, man, I, I, brain wasn't working. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, shit. Oh man. See, this is the roguelike thing. Is that okay? So you start over. <laughs> simulation give feedback on our discord complete 10 combat encounters all right well let's at least complete 10 combat encounters shall we oh but pulse jeez fuck that's something ridiculous there no but yeah I, I think when it comes to the creator economy it's called the creator economy it's not called the creator charity okay it's um ooh. Can we can we jump around? Um, yeah, like I say, I, I do think creators should be paid for their work, and I think that it's also wrong to think that everyone can just do that. Like, not every musician is good. <laughs> not every footballer is a pro footballer. Not every not every um. Gamer is a pro gamer, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. I do need better... I need better... I need better... Reload speed. Yeah! Better movement. I have to admit, I have to admit, the audio is really good. So you, I'm getting, so what you're getting in this game is you're also getting audio feedback to know that when certain power-ups are ready, that's very good. The, uh, what's it, the, um, the visual language and the audio language is really, really good, in, really good in this game. 
All right, so we got a rare power, minus defense, extra, no, I'm not gonna go for that. Uh, more shields, less cooldown time, skill power. Let's go with that. Um, dish, 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 critical damage increased by 15%, and it stacks, okay? Reduce skill cooldowns, but I'm gonna go with that, and I'm gonna say on rapid use. Cool, I like this, guys. I really do like this game. I could see myself playing this for, for quite a while, <laughs> in terms of, in terms of uh, longevity. Don't get me wrong, there is a... I am pressing the wrong button again. Which is the button that I'm looking for? Not that one. That's the one. Oops. Oops. I'm assuming that's... Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck, man! Oh Jesus! Fuck sake! But it's like a. And, and that's the thing, right? It's a perceived value on your work, not just a, uh... Nice! Smooth, buddies. Smooth. Not bad. I can't remember what the b-balls do. Alright, hold on, I'm curious. Is it if we get all the b-balls, we get, like... I must check. It's it's my own fault. I should have checked already. But uh, if we get all the V balls, we should get something. I can't remember what it is though. Scrambler shocks enemies and hit because uh, and becomes capable of breaking C balls. Okay, we can do that. That's a passive skill. Oh, I see. Okay, fascinating. I love that. I love that. Are we gonna get into the shishumu shumu shumu? that sumo guy let's go and see what we can make of it let us share what we can make of it uh let's do more weapon ah hp and attack power stun marked enemies for three seconds nope electrical damage increased by 30 percent for three seconds yes let's try that the interesting thing is you can start building builds in your head right about which one works better for you <laughs> Woo! That was all of our shields gone. Okay. No bullets. That's fine. We'll get there. Oh. 
Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, oh, hello, big machine. Alright. He's the last one, which is good for us. Very good for us. Oh, smooth. I'm very happy with that, actually. Weapon mod. Don't mind if I do. Token. What is a token? I don't know what a token is. Bloody internet. Burns down you uh, doing eat a salad. Oh, don't worry about it, Blogsy. It's all good. Let's get a shotgun mod. Changes damage type to toxic. Increases fire rate. Yes, please. That's going to be fun. Don't worry about it. Also, like, dude's internet service has been really rubbish in the last few weeks. We've had it at work all the time. Ah. Nice. Oh no. Ah. Come on, come on, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, my man. Oh. Oh dear. Next round, then. Must be next round. Where are you? Come here, you. Ah, oh, there's a quick. Oh, hold on. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, what else do we have? Just the neural boost? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to be going to increase, decrease cooldown time, increase critical damage. We're going to work with that one. Restore 10%, 10 shields, uh, points every five activations. All right. Uh, gain an extra dash. Coming into toxic damage. I think for now, we'll definitely need this one. Use it on spam. Oh, really? Okay, cool. On Seabull break. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you can sit here and really get into it. Oh, and, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the the levels seem to be also randomly generated from time to time, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, hello. Oh, Oh dear. Too quick. Ah, Sumo! There he is. So aggressive. Oh, he's ah, right out of bullets. God damn it. Thank you so much, dear. There you go. Oh, he's out. Nice play there, G-Man. Uh, nice play. And he's dead. 
And you're dead. This flying thing is moving dick. Ah, the movements in this game is lovely, mind you. I'm putting it out there. You can actually get another double jump. Oh. 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 Boom, shut Ha! Not bad. Not bad at all, Tam. Tam? Chaps? Dudes? Pals of mine? Med tech? Oh, yes, please. Shield reconstruction. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that does, but I'm glad we have one. That was everybody. Whoa, Ooh. Samurai! We want to increase. Oh, is it free? Minus 10 HP. I don't know if I feel good about that. Let's reduce cooldown time some more and more defense and more critical damage. I like that. Grenade capacity increased. I'm keen on this one. On scramble. Cool. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do, dudes. Dudes and dudettes, pals and buddies. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see him yet. Oh man. Oh goodness gracious, my fingers can't remember anything! So much happening. Oh, and there's a robot there too. We're so dead. Oh, there it goes. Ha! Chatei. Loadout details. Anchor thunder. Strong enemy hits. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Well, that was pretty good. Nothing to lie. 13 minutes mm -hmm. Good progress there. Thank you, G Man. I agree. I think we did better. We definitely did progress more. There's more enemies as you keep going, right? When I came on board this operation, I noticed the soldier combat shells you intend in use in the corporate inventory. So I'm missing something. Sure, they do pack a punch. They lack any sort of finesse. I would like you to test something for me. A new combat shell. I named it Hunter. It's stealthier, deadlier, more precise, refined, and adequately equipped for your MO. A bit more fragile, yes, and admittedly more expensive for that reason. The director insists we test it out on simulation before starting production. Could you be so kind as to prove my design superiority? Sure. 
hunter convention. This is pretty cool. Uh, while lower on the health, the hunter takes takes it up with a deadly hand cannon and an array of diverse capabilities, including optical camouflage and a powerful switchback ability. Alright, well, far be it from me. Oh, look at this. Our analysts uh, advise we should expect Tora deploying Haka Hakimaki uh, autonomous drones. Rumiko was asked to include these in the simulation, so we get better experience recalling those annoying things. Hami Haki Maki, <laughs> where advertisers affordable vermin catches of the future. A product that couldn't fail. Uh, with the mutant rats and uh, roaches outgrowing cats and pest controllers these days. That's hectic. Uh, these damn things do their job scorching the users, uh, users' pets to a crisp. Nice. Deadling upgrades? We get an upgrade. Oh, cool. That must be what the token. Use tokens uh, for advanced upgrades at the hub. Rewarded for killing bosses. Okay. Oh, we don't have tokens. Alright. Damage versus marks. Shell integrity upgrade. Nice. Oh, that's what these are. Exchange provisions. Ah, okay. With you, with you, with you, with you. Okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. More stuff from the codex. Lucky drone. Geisha. Rikishi. Think tank. All oh, so much stuff. Alright, we get to try the hunter from that shot now. Alright, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Initializing Tora. What is that? Is this a machine gun? It's something. I'm a big fan of revolvers, so let's see how we do this. Open wide. Oh, I'm stealthy. <gasps> what was that? Holy fuck. Oh, I'm a fan. Immediate fan. What did I just do? I don't know what that is. Alright, so we don't have a dash. We have a... A switch? Oh, we still have a dash. Okay, so we don't have a grappling hook. And I can one-shot these guys with the revolver. Bro, big fan, big fan. Oh man, good for getting out of grenade range. Totally. Oh, this is cool. Our capacity increased by twenty percent. Three full both shields increased by fifteen. That's fine. Oh yeah. Okay. Refill. Uh, refill ammo both weapons. All right, that's fine. Dude, that's cool. I am a huge fan of this this uh, this shell. Just one shot. You just have to aim. That's so cool. Oh! Gee, man, did you check that? Media switch. I don't know what that button does. That's cool. I made him throw his own grenade at himself. That's cool. Ah, big fan. Big fan of this one. This is cool. This is what I like. This is my style. Shell upgrade, let's do it. Um, the eye of decoy explodes, dealing... I don't know what that means, but yes. Upon translocation, that's what it's called. Uh, all enemies around are stunned. 
Uh, switch back, translocator, cooldown time. That's cool. That's fun. Perfect switch there. Active camo is cool. Yeah, bro. Big fan. Uh, uh, G Man, do you remember when you wrote that thing once upon a time when we were in high school? And you were speaking about. Uh, like, you were describing like a sniper. Still, still think about that. Nice. This is obviously the heavy duty weapon. Nice. Aha! You kind of shoot them in the back of the head, right? <laughs> I mean, I can see our health, like, obviously drops a little quicker, but on, I, I don't know. The trade-off with mobility is pretty cool. I dig it. Uh, both weapons deal fire damage. I dig that. I'm a fan. Wait. Uh, on translocation. Yes. I think the cannon gun has got spread damage weapon. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is your crowd controller, right? This is for precision, precision marksman. I like it. Okay, it takes a while for your active camo to switch back. Interesting, interesting. I like this game though. I think this is a lot of fun. Very nicely polished as well. The fact that I can commit to a headshot. Is really <laughs> now we did it again. That's a little bit. This commands a little bit of ghost run. It is it's uh it's fluidity. I like that. to remember as well, which is nice. What are you... Oh, that's the dummy. Nice. Oh, I get how the active camo works. The active camo leaves a dummy. Okay. <laughs> Shoot the heads off. That's... I know, right? I feel it's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, the target is too heavy, no shit. Very fulfilling. I'm licking my fingers at how tasty the movement is. Dude, it's so good. It's actually so smooth. 
I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong, because it does place limits on you, right? So you have to wait for your dash to recharge and, and all these other things. But I think that's good because that that like that improves that makes you want to improve skills, right? So you're not just running in and just shooting, 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 shooting. Uh, we're just gonna go for a normal boost here. Uh, when firing a weapon, there's a 20% chance of a homing projectile that will deal shock. I like that. Uh, we're gonna do it on the cool. And because of the way you set it up, like depending on your gameplay style, yeah, this is, is cool. Shop and we've got XP. Let's go for XP now. Actually, let's go to the shop. We haven't tried the shop yet. Oh, yeah? Oh, there's the shop. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, let's have a look here. So, I do want a medikit. How much money do we have? Only 360. Incendiary grenade. Oh, that would be very good. Um, next shot will. I like this. I'd buy that, yeah. Oh look, you can stack. You can actually stack. Hold on, so if we did that and we did that. So every time we do a translocator, our next shot will ignite. And uh, fire damage is increased by 30. That's nice. That's very nice. So we want to do this at the same time. Uh, wait, like that, yeah. Both deals damage. Ooh, that's gonna be hot. That's gonna be so good. All right, that's gonna be so good. Let's see what happens. <laughs> coffee refill. Go grab a coffee, my brother. No. This guy is quite sensitive. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Didn't get that far. But um that was still cool. That was still very cool. That was still very cool. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, this roguelike aspect of it is making it quite addictive, if, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. There's this whole aspect of you wanting to keep playing because you want to get your upgrades and improve your runs. I get it. I get it. Um, background music is is overpowering slightly. Just a note. All the best, man. Oh, G man, thank you so much. It's probably that. It's probably the game background, but good to know. I'm gonna actually remember that for next time. I think we got. Uh, 
yeah, the game audio was pretty loud, but I like to have people immersed, you know, I don't, it's not always, it's not always fun to just hear my voice chatter on, <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, once again, thank you so much again for being here today, uh, we're just gonna stream, we're just gonna end the stream there, I'm not gonna raid anybody, so, have a great weekend, and until next time, what is it, how do we, how do we normally do it, it's just like, please take care, rip and tear, and I will see you soon, cheers everybody. Thank <laughs> you.